Pneumothorax is caused by the presence of air or gas in the pleural cavity. Occasionally, the site at which the air gains entry into the thorax may act like a valve, allowing air in but not out. When this happens, a very serious condition occurs which is called tension pneumothorax. And the pressure keeps building up, which causes the lung to collapse and the mediastinum to become compressed and shifted. Pneumothorax presents suddenly with pleuritic chest pain, breathlessness and sometimes respiratory distress. On examination the chest is hyperresonant on percussion, there are reduced breath sounds and absent fremitus. Chest x-ray may reveal collapse of the lung and deviation of the trachea. Pneumothorax can be subdivided into those that occur spontaneously and those with a traumatic or iatrogenic origin. Idiopathic pneumothorax typically occurs in thin, tall young men following rupture of a congenital subpleural apical bleb. This is a piece of lung resected from a patient who developed a spontaneous pneumothorax and it shows a subpleural apical bleb. The tissue towards the left of the picture is relatively normal lung. The empty white area is the subpleural bleb and on the right side of the picture the single layer of cells is the pleural surface of the lung. Spontaneous pneumothorax occurs when an alveolus ruptures. The three commonest causes are emphysema, asthma and TB. Other causes include cystic fibrosis, pneumonia, abscess formation, whooping cough, sarcoidosis and malignancy. This is a Gough-Wentworth section of a lung showing features of emphysema. This is another example of a lung with emphysema and here at the bottom of the pitch you can see a giant buller and you can clearly see how this could easily rupture causing a pneumothorax. And this is a granuloma from a lung affected by sarcoidosis. Traumatic pneumothorax occurs particularly when a rib is fractured or there is a penetrating chest injury. Iatrogenic pneumothorax may occur following a number of medical procedures including subclavian cannulation, pleural aspiration, esophageal endoscopy, lung biopsy and positive pressure ventilation. Here we can see the consequences of a penetrating chest injury in the form of a stab wound to the right upper chest. The x-ray shows a hemothorax and also a pneumothorax.